Oh. Well, back after Christmas break. Uh, yeah, that was needed a few days. We actually hosted Christmas uh, for about ten people. So, uh, so yeah, so that was full on. Made a turkey, uh, like a full turkey. Never done that before, so that was uh, so that was interesting. But everything went off without a hitch. So back. Hope you had a great Christmas break. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get on with everything that's happened today. I'm gonna position this back just a tiny bit. Just so you can see a little bit more of the jersey. Of course, we're in the Blackhawks jersey because Soderberg. Soderberg has signed uh, a one-year deal uh, with the Blackhawks here um, for a mil. Uh, really handy. Actually, I'm going to double check that. It's for a mil. For some reason, I was like, it's a mil. And then I was like, oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, it's one by one. I just need to double check that. Um, good thing the phone's right there. Uh, so yeah, so really good deal for a player that is still a twenty goal scorer in this league, um, and especially when you've got things like taxi squads and and a few other bits and pieces. This is a one way deal, so if it does go down, he would uh, need to be in waivers. But uh, yeah, really, really good deal. Adds a bit of depth, obviously, with uh, Alex Nylander being out for the the rest of the season. Um, pretty handy little signing here. I think he adds a lot of depth to the team as well. And just um, it just helps them out in general. I think it's a really a really savvy deal, and and look for a lot more of these to start coming up, especially with taxi squads as you start to see bets and stuff um, start to get PTOs. Which uh, while we're on PTOs, uh, Del Zotto just signed one uh, with the Bl uh, Blue Jackets, which I think is a great uh, pickup. I definitely think he's still an NHL player, maybe on the fringe of that. But if they can get a two-way deal and, and be able to move him back and forth onto waivers from the taxi squad, that's a really handy player that can that can come into the lineup and, and still offer a fair bit at the NHL level. Um, maybe not game in, game out, but yeah, if someone needs a break or if someone's got a you know a niggling injury, having someone like that to come in and just and just help out there, that's a pretty good depth move if the Bl uh, Blue Jackets can um, can get that going. And obviously, the games might be pretty truncated. I think as a whole, it, it's uh, I think the season is mostly the same games per week, but obviously with the whole flying in and flying out, I think it'll be a lot of games in one hit and then you have a few days break. So, um, so yeah, so obviously if someone's a little bit injured and you know, they don't want to risk him for, you know, maybe three games in four nights or something on those lines, it makes sense that you, you got someone like Del Zotto to come up there. So I think if they do get the sun done, it's, it's a savvy, savvy move for the Blue Jackets. And I think he'll be a good fit there. I like, I like it. I like it. Kyoko, um, Just saw this blowing around in the deck. Uh, Slater Cuckoo has signed a one-year deal for $850,000 with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, pretty good depth defensive pick, a um, little bit of an offensive upside. He never really ended up being the player that the, at least the Lightning wanted him to be. Um, but handy for Edmonton, especially with Clef Bomb. Uh, well, pretty much done uh, for the season, if not going to be out for quite a while. So, uh, so yeah, so that one hurts uh, the Oilers, but at least the Oilers bring in someone else I guess uh, to maybe help out it might work out and then they can it might work out and then they can sign him for a longer term uh, deal or put him on for another year if he does fit the mold I think that's another another little savvy deal it's just a tiny little thing and Kobe uh, yeah it looks like his NHL career is done um, he's back to the KHL signs a two-year deal over there and uh, yeah it's sad it's sad I, I almost wore the devil's jersey because i've got a devil's jersey with his name on it but uh you know i wanted to go uh, you know i've got a brand new jersey so i uh, wanted to go with these guys and um and then see how it all went um but yeah it's uh it's a shame that it's the end of his career because he didn't really want to go he wanted to kind of stay here and and i hate it when it's not really on their terms but i mean that's just the fact of life isn't it but yeah you can tell he definitely wanted one more year but it's just it's probably not going to happen um, so yes, he's back to the KHL, so that's uh, a little bit sad, a little bit sad on that end of thing. <clears throat> uh, also, this bit of news, last bit of the day, um, it happened two days ago, but obviously that was like the heart of Christmas. Um, all the Canadian divisions, it looks like, uh, all the Canadian teams, sorry, looks like they're going to be able to start the season in their home barns. Um, so obviously a bit can change between now and then, uh, but it's looking pretty good. At least, it, you know, if, if something does blow up when it comes to COVID, at least they can, you know, it looks like it might be only one team or, or they can just pivot with that it's not a couple of provinces that are that are holding out um so yeah so that's looking really good that they'll be able to play in their own buildings obviously without fans i think for all of the provinces i could be wrong on that but yeah i'm, I'm pretty sure for all the provinces and no fans um but yeah so it should be pretty good to start seeing that oh oh boy what a video long one long one um yeah so if you did like this video hit the like button otherwise hit subscribe down below if you are not subscribed it really does help us out with the motivation levels 
Um, we're pretty much looking at three videos, maybe more a day uh, for at least the next couple of weeks uh, while I'm still off work and then we'll, we'll kind of adjust and, and probably go down to two or three a day. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. Um, I just I loaded up a random hockey jersey uh, opening video because uh, a fan sent two jerseys, one of them being this bad boy. Uh, that's why I wanted to wear it. So yeah, I figured I'd give that a whirl. And, um, and yeah, then we'll start with the season previews um, coming out. We'll probably start covering some of the World Junior. It's really hard for me to watch that in, in Australia. Obviously, I can get the NHL games fine through NHL.TV, but yeah, the Junior has it's proven to be a little bit difficult. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you, and bye.